friends, let us take a case of initial solution of a transportation problem and we are going to study the first method that is the oldest method of getting initial solution of a transportation problem and that is popularly known as NWCM, Northwest Corner Method, Northwest Corner. We know the sides and corners, North, South, West, East, this one is the Northwest Corner. In this method, the allocation is always made to the empty cell on the northwest corner of the remaining table. In this table, which one is the northwest corner? This table or this cell 1 1 is called the northwest corner. That means, according to this method, we require to make allocation of transportation quantity in this cell first and in the further steps also we need to make allocation only to the northwest corner of the remaining or open table in the empty cell. So let us follow the method. This one is the starting point. Always this cell 1 1 will be the starting point in case of Northwest corner method. Now, what is the rule of allocation? The rule of allocation is very simple in case of any method of solving a transportation problem, and the rule is demand or supply, whichever is lower, is the quantity of allocation. I repeat demand or supply, whichever is lower is the quantity of transportation. So in this cell, for this column the demand is 20 and for this row the supply is 30. The interpretation is the demand of destination D1 is 20 units while the supply available from source S1 is 30 units. Whichever is lower, so we should allocate 20 units to this cell. That means we should transport 20 units from source S1 to the destination D1 and the cost is rupee 1 per unit. So demand or supply whichever is lower means 20 units. The demand of destination D1 is satisfied fully but supply from S1 is available 30 and we are allocating 20 to D1. So still 20 mi 30 minus 20, 10 units supply is still available from source S1. So to indicate this one, we will cancel the column D1. That means now we shall not consider this column for further allocation because demand of destination D1 has already been satisfied. Now the remaining table column D1, D2, D3, 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 D4 and rows S1, S2, S3. This is now remaining transportation table. Again, we are going to follow northwest corner method. For the remaining these 9 cells, what is the northwest corner? This one. Can we allocate anything to this cell? Yes. Because from source S1 still we have 10 supply of 10 units. And destination D2 demands 40 units. Demand or supply, whichever is lower, that is 10. That means we can allocate 10 units to cell 1, 2. That means from source S1, we can transport 10 units to destination D2. Now this supply is exhausted. But out of demand of 40, we have, already, we have only allocated 10 units. So still 30 units of demand, rather unsatisfied demand of 30 units is there. But now we should cancel the row S1. Now we shall not consider row S1 for any purpose or rather for the purpose of allocation. Now what is the remaining table? This part is the remaining part of the transportation table. Which one is the northwest corner of the remaining part? This cell. Cell 2 2. So now we should make, alloca make allocation to cell 2 2. That means from supply point S2 to destination D2. How much unit can be allocated? Again the same rule. Demand 30 units. 
or supply 50 units, whichever is lower. So it comes to 30. So we are going to transport 30 units from source S2 to destination D2 at a cost of rupees 3 per unit. Now the demand of D2 is satisfied. But out of the supply available from S2 50 units, we have allocated only 30. So 50 minus 30, the remaining supply of 20 is with us. Demand of D2 is already satisfied. So we should cancel column D2. Now we are not, we are not going to consider column D1 as well as D2 for further allocation and similarly row S1 also. This one, this part is the remaining part of the transportation table. Same thing, what is the northwest corner? This cell is the northwest corner of the remaining table. So we should make allocation to this cell. Again, demand 30, supply 20, whichever is lower, 20. Supply of S2 has been exhausted. Demand of D3, out of 30, we have made allocation of 20 units. So, unsatisfied demand of 10. We should cancel the source, rather second row or source S2 because now no supply is available from S2. Now what? The matter of common sense, we have available supply of 20 and we have demand of 10 units each from destination D3 and D4. So, again, northwest corner method, this cell, demand 10, supply 20, whichever is lower, 10. So now demand of D3 is already satisfied, but still supply of 10 units is available from source S3. We have to cancel column of D3 because demand has been satisfied. And the last cell available units 10, demand 10, we can make allocation of 10. Thus, the whole supply of 100 units is exhausted. And on the same, in the same way, the demand of all four destinations is also satisfied. Now, let us check whether this is feasible solution or not, initial feasible or not. We have M number of supply point or sources, M is equal to 3. And we have N number of demand points or destinations, they are 4, N is equal to 4. We are going to use M into N minus 1 rule. That will be, sorry, M plus N, not into. M plus N minus 1. M3 plus N4 minus 1 is equal to 6. We should check whether 6 allocations have been made or not. Let us count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In 6 cells we have made allocation and the MN rule says that we, it, we, have, we should have made the allocation in at least 6 cells. So the MN rule is satisfied. So we can say that this one is the initial feasible solution. This solution is feasible. Now, after applying the northwest corner method, we want to know that what will be the total transportation cost. For this purpose, the calculation is very simple. The units allocated should be multiplied by the cost per unit. And ultimately, the grand total will give us the total cost. So, <clears throat> units multiplied by cost per unit, that is in rupees or it can be in pound, it can be in euro, it can be in dollar or anything and the total units 20 cost 1 so total cost 20 units 10 cost 2 total cost again 20 units 30 cost 3 total
टोटल कोस्ट 90 यूनिट्स 20 कोस्ट 2 टोटल कोस्ट 40 यूनिट्स 10 कोस्ट 5 टोटल कोस्ट 50 यूनिट्स 10 और यूनिट कोस्ट 9 टोटल कोस्ट 90 टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ 100 यूनिट्स कम्स टू रुपीज थ्री हंड्रेड टेन सो वी कैन से दैट इफ वी अप्लाई नॉर्थ वेस्ट कॉर्नर मेथड टू गेट द इनिशियल सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस ट्रांसपोर्टेशन प्रॉब्लम वी कैन ट्रांसपोर्ट 100 यूनिट्स एट अ टोटल ट्रांसपोर्टेशन कॉस्ट ऑफ रुपीज थ्री हंड्रेड टेन mind well or remember this is the initial solution only this may or may not may not be a op an optimal solution but we have to check it so this was northwest corner method thank you